this is our base and it's currently overrun with dinos. We need to get them out of here and into their own space. In order to make that happen, we're going to need to go get some farming dinos. So we're going to hop in the raft and we're going to head around the island to see what we can find. I want to find a doid and an anki at least. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy this arc adventure. We packed up our raft with all the supplies that we needed and a couple of teams to help us along the way. And we traveled to the eastern side of the island to one of the large mountains. How many little buildable islands now? I'm just going to pull up next to this one. Then we'll jump on the bird and do some scouting up the mountain. It's actually my first time flying up on one of these big mountains. I'm going to fly around and see what we can find. We need a Dodic and we need an Anki. Oh no. We do not need a Giga. Seeing a level 24 Giga on the mountain was motivation enough to send me to the opposite side to look for our farmers. Lord. It took a whole lot of searching around the mountain before we could find anything that was of interest. There were no Dodics, there were no Ankies, the two things we were after. Eventually, I just started looking at everything. I discovered this Rex was trying to eat the exact thing we were trying to find. Oh, leave him alone. Level 12, it turns out that it was a level 12. Boy, he did a number on you. I really don't want to sit here and wait for you to unball. Oh, hey. I guess I don't have to wait for you to unball after all. So this guy's in rough shape, so let's go drop him in the boat. Hopefully he will not escape. When the, when the walls de-render, hopefully he will stay there. My concern about the dinos wandering through the wall has to do with something that uh, quirk, you could say, with Survival Evolved. There were situations that would allow for the dinos to be out of stasis and moving about, but the walls of a base or a trap to not be physically drawn in the game. So even though the walls are present, they could just walk right through. Okay. See if we can get an Anki. I wanna... It's a big purple fish. All right, let's see if we can grab an Anki. And then I wanna see if I can move the boat while they are on it. Awake. After a ton of searching, I finally came across an Anki and a Dodic together. Oh. Okay. All right. We got a 156. Yep. And I'm almost out of stamina. And there was an Anki over there, and it's probably going to get eaten by those two raptors. <laughs> On the way back to the boat to drop off the level 156 female, I found this. What's... Oh my gosh. Okay. There, it's the opposite day, or opposite playthrough, whatever you want to call it. This is the opposite. Because now we have doids everywhere. We got no Ankies. 
Mm, it's still there. Sort of. All right, buddy. You are no longer my friend. This is my new friend. And my other new friend up the beach. After moving the boat a little bit closer up the beach, we flew out on the Argentavis to go get the Dodic and bring it back. Let's see if I can get that Anki, if it's still alive. We flew back over to the other side of the mountain where we saw the Anki, and it was still alive. Just had to swoop in and save it from the rapture. Twenty-four. Email. You're gonna do. You're gonna have to do. I mean, let's be fair. You're gonna mostly just be dumping onto the bird anyway. You don't have to be a super high level. I mean, I would prefer for you to have your higher carry weight so that I don't have to transfer as frequently, but... Mm. Alright, so currently my plan is to dump this guy on the boat. Now, this gal on the boat. After I get some stamina. Are you going to attack me? Are you trying to attack the um, raptor still? You know, they're gone, right? Or we're gone. Okay. Back to what I was saying. So the, the idea is to dump this guy on uh, this gal on the boat and drive home. See if we can do it. I'm not so sure with that thing running around like that. Can I go down, please? There we go. It seems to be working, folks. It seems to be working. All right, I'm going to drive us back home and we'll, uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do from there. Oh, let me close my door. I'm going to let the sharks in. Once we get there, we'll figure out now we're going to knock all these guys out and get them tamed up. And somehow we actually made it all the way here without any incident at all. Crazy. Alright, I'm going to... I'm going to set up three little pins. Hmm. Maybe I'm going to set up two little pins. Nah, I'll do three. Put the diodes. Put the doeds in the in the stone ones. 
And the Anki can be in the wood one. That's what I was hoping to see. There. All right, everybody passive. And we'll start knocking these guys out. Do the Ankleo first because it'll be the fastest. So we went ahead and got them all teamed up and we threw some saddles on them. I've actually used these Dodics a little bit, so they're they're a little bit leveled in weight. Uh, but I have the Arc Smart Breeder stats pulled up from, uh, I uploaded it as soon as I tamed them. So these those are the stats um, right after they were tamed. So for this one, it tamed up at uh, 242. You get a... 38 points into HP for 6,579.2. You got 37 points into stamina for 1,410. Oxygen has 33 points. You got 645. The food. Oh my gosh, the food. 52 points into food. 21,340.3. Food. Wow. No. 21,370.1. The food. All right, so the weight on this one is is pretty decent. Forty three points for four hundred sixty five was what it teamed up at. Now it's four hundred seventy five, and the movement speeds the standard one sixty for a dodic. So you've got forty nine points in the health. So great health, eight thousand two hundred sixty two point two, forty seven points into stamina, one thousand seven hundred and ten. Uh, you got 615, uh, 615 in the oxygen, which is 31 points, 31 points in the food for 14,144, 41 points into melee, nope, 41 points in the weight, sorry, I'm looking off screen to see, <laughs> to see the arch smart breeder stats, uh, and then 33 points into melee damage for 441, and then the, the movement speed. The Anki is not going to be anything special. It's a super low level. Um, I won't even really go into point distribution on that one, but it's uh, 1,960 currently for health, 262.5 for stamina, 195 for oxygen, 5863 for food, 402 for weight, and I've been putting more weight in there, so that's got a couple of points in it. Uh, 258.9 for melee, and then 135 movement speed. So. The whole point in taming these guys up is that in the next episode, we're going to clear all of this area out over here. And we're going to build a big old barn to put our dinos in. I've got a design in mind. Um, I just have to, I just have to make it, or get all the stuff and craft up all the pieces for it. So I'm super excited about that. I hope you tune in for that episode. And um, and yeah, so that's that's pretty much going to do it for now. I, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. 
I uh, hope you enjoyed our adventure over on the mountain, getting the Dodix and the Yankee. And uh, I played around with the formatting of the video a little bit. It's uh, slightly different than it normally is, and I hope you enjoyed that. So um, I appreciate everybody leaving comments and tips and hints. I read through them, and I, I, I very much appreciate it. So I hope to see you in the next video. And until then, take it easy.